thing about uh, this kind of uh, technology is that uh, it addresses a, a unique problem in, uh, in footwear, which is motion control. Some people walk normally. Uh, there's plenty of people who don't. Some of them will, will tilt inward. Some of them will tilt outward. And what you do with a motion control technology is you try to, to compensate for that by either stiffening up the inside or stiffening up the outside, depending upon where the person is actually overstepping or understepping, basically. You also have the capability here of adjusting cushioning only, say, for instance, making it stiffer or making it more soft. There's a lot of variation in, human, in the human foot and in the way human beings walk, and you're essentially trying to respond to that variation. Generally speaking, if you buy a, a piece of footwear, you're kind of like locked into what it's going to be. It's going to fit you this way and it's going to do this for you. This gives you this kind of like added benefit of allowing you to, to, to customize or dial in at least a certain aspect of how that piece of footwear is going to work for you. You know, anytime you can respond to individual characteristics, it's just a great thing. And that's what this does. In order to get the, the technology to, to work, basically, uh, given the way that Kevin designed it, you had to build a shoe around it so you could fit it in there. Insole, midsole, and together. Well, all in one, here. The easiest way to appreciate how it works is to actually look at how this, this slanted uh, wavy piece interacts with this sort of like yellow wavy piece here inside the sole. This piece right here is uniform. It's, it's all, all of the waves are the same, whereas on this uh, piece, the waves are not the same. They're most pronounced at one end and flatter and shallower on the other, so that when you begin to, to place this thing in the insole device, you can see how there's different ways in which this blue device interacts with the, with the insole. Here at the firm setting, you can see that the waves lock into that lower device almost perfectly so that when you step on this, it's very firm. When you go to uh, uh, the setting for cushioning, it's kind of like the reverse so that, you know, you've got the blue device here and then the waves here, but there's all of this air in there that, the you know, here. the space is here so that when you step on it, you have more cushioning. Now for inward and outward tilt, it's pretty much the same, the same, uh, the same principle. So this is set for inward tilt. You soften up here and you stiffen up here. And, so, and then for outward tilt, you can see that the exact opposite occurs. You've, you've created a place that's softer here and uh, up, uh, here on the outside here, it's, uh, it's, more, it's more firm. There's, there's a culture of innovation, true functional innovation that, that we engage in and, uh, and that I think sort of like spells out why we're able to execute or implement programs like this. And it's just, it's sheer genius to me.